Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we are going to talk about whether rotation into your lead side at strike is being beneficial to your golf swing or is actually doing you a bit of a disservice. Because rotation at strike has some knock-on effects to where the shaft pitches and certainly your club path at contact. So I'm going to talk through some Trapman numbers. I've got four up on the screen, swing direction, angle of attack, club path and face to path. We're going to talk about how we affect those numbers and we're going to talk about why you might be struggling to get into that lead side at strike. So enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I've got my favorite trap my numbers up on the screen there, which you can see, and they are usually the four main numbers that I look at when I'm teaching people here in the studio at Precision Golf. One of the most common questions I get is how do I get into my lead side more at strike? How do I get more open at contact? And there's lots of ways you can do it. I've done videos on how to get more open. But sometimes, and it's happened this morning with a client, sometimes you're, you're not getting into your lead side, uh, in terms of getting your lead side more open at strike, for a reason, okay? And there's usually a couple of reasons as to why you're struggling. So I'm gonna hit a, a couple of balls here. My, my first shot is going to be a swing where I rotate very well on my lead side, but I lack rotation on my trail side, okay? And we're gonna look at some of the numbers and some of the diagrams there. So let's just make a kind of normal setup, normal grip. So I'm gonna lack depth on the way back, but get loads of depth on the way through. Okay, so didn't hit it great, but what we see on the screen there is a swing direction of 10 degrees left okay, and a face to path of a few degrees closed. So look at this diagram on the right hand side here. So the gray line shaded out is my target line, okay. The plane you see here is almost the tilt to my circle because that's all a golf swing is, is just a tilted circle. As you can see there, it's an arc, okay. So with a swing direction of 10 degrees left, now you can see my swing lacks some depth on the way back but has an awful lot of depth on the way through. You'll also notice that my club path is further right than my swing direction because I have a downwards angle of attack. So you can imagine if I hit more downwards on the ball, my path would get pushed more from the inside. Okay, so I push my path more right of my swing direction. This is, is super, super common. So this is someone who's learned to rotate on the way through but hasn't really noticed any improvement in their score because it's too one-sided. There is a lack of depth on the way back. There is too much depth on the way through. So we see some fairly big swing direction numbers as well as face-to-path numbers. So what you'll learn to do from there, after hitting lots of shots heavy, lots of shots left like that last swing, is learn to not rotate into that left side, okay? So what we also see with someone who has uh, a lack of depth on the way back is that they will try to deliver some more neutral numbers by having more hip slide on the way through. Okay, that hip slide would help decrease those numbers. So let's try and do one of those. If I can do this on demand, I'll be amazed. It might take me a couple. So uh, not enough rotation on the way back, but lots of, ro lots of uh, slide on the way through. Okay, let's see how those numbers changed. So a 2.7 path, but I still didn't really have an awful lot of rotation on the way back. But what's happened is my slide on the way through, which has become a necessity to deliver better numbers, has actually made my ball finish a lot more on target than the better impact, lots of rotation on the way through. Okay, so I actually hit the ball more on target by sliding because I lack some basic depth in the backswing. This is, is so often the key reason why people struggle to rotate into their lead side. It's because it doesn't become a necessity. Instead, what it, come, what it becomes is this nice position people want to hit, but actually it doesn't have a positive effect on their golf swing. Okay, so typically when you lack depth at the top, you are going to want to slide rather than turn because if you don't slide and you work on rotation, like that first swing, you will have a swing direction which is too far to the left and you will pull so many shots left and it actually will not do any favors at all. So, you might ask what the, what the purpose of this video is. The purpose of this video 
is to set you up with a backswing position which allows rotation to happen on the way through without having a negative effect on the path. You won't come over the top. You won't hit it massively left like I have done. Um, and you'll actually be able to turn more because you're, you're free to do so. And I hope that makes sense. Like, when people struggle with, with rotation, they usually think of the rotation left as the cause of the, of the issue. But quite often, the rotation or the lack of rotation through the ball is actually just the symptom to something else happening. Okay? If you see lots of slide on the way down, it's probably because you've got either some sway on the way back and that will cause you to uh, lack some depth and then you have to slide on the way down to create some inside numbers or some neutral face and path numbers. What I want you to feel, and it's a very, very simple feel, what I want you to imagine is you're going to create some of this side of the arc with how you use this trail leg and trail hip. Okay? What we're going to start to do is, is neutralize the swing direction. To, so we're going to go from 12 degrees from outside to inside, and we're going to make that much more neutral. Okay? So what I want you to feel is as you address a ball, as you address a ball, I want you to imagine I've got my finger on the right-hand side of your pelvis. Okay? And then what I want you to do, and you can just do it one-handed. You can even do this drill. Okay? Put the finger on the outside of your pelvis. Then I want you to imagine you're going to make a rotation where your trail pocket almost feels as if it works back, but also left towards your left heel. And you can do that by pushing the pressure from that right toe or the balls of the right foot to the heel. Okay? And you'll start to find that because you're unlocking what the right leg does, so it's straightening, the pressure is moving towards the heel to facilitate that, you will feel as if your, your rib cage can rotate more, you'll be able to get more depth to the hands at the top, and then rotation becomes necessary to hit the ball in a straight line. Okay, that's the biggest key. If you're just fixing it when it's a symptom, it will not want to change because actually it's helping you, like that shot I hit earlier, it's helping you hit a ball on target. Okay, so you could do it with a finger on your right hip if you're lucky enough to have a grass range. You could put a drill stick in the ground behind you and put it on the, kind of the top part of your right leg on the right hip if the drill stick is tall enough. And now I want you to imagine you're going to hit a couple of shots where you try to feel as if you are moving the pocket back and around. Okay, and you can imagine now I'm unlocking this part of the circle without getting too stuck inside because my lower body is, is, is creating the rotation. Okay, so you're trying to feel as if you're going to move back and away from the drill stick. Okay, both the right hip's moving back, that's because the pressure's moving towards the heel, and the right pocket is almost as if it's moving towards the left heel. Okay, and now from there, let's see if I can hit this on target. I've got my glove today, even though I knew I was doing this. So let's try and make some rotation on the way back. Okay. Slightly slipping the grip, but felt better. Okay. I mean, that's pretty close for the first go. That's pretty close. So the swing direction, 1.6 degrees to the left. 1.6 from 12, okay? Just by feeling as if my right pocket is moving back, but also towards my left heel. It will unlock some rotation and unlock the depth. That pushed my path to 0.2, dead neutral. Sometimes you don't, don't want it to be dead neutral, but it's uh, good for this demonstration. And the face to path of 1.6 shut, that's fine, okay? So it's a soft draw. But you can see the difference in the numbers on that right-hand screen in particular so to go from the two where you've got a 12 degrees outside inside path and a very left, uh, sorry, 12 degrees uh, swing direction and a very left path to a 1.6 swing direction and a 0.2 path. Purely by feeling like there is a better rotation into that right hip because it creates depth, okay? A good spot to look out for, my final thought, is that as you make this backswing, if you video your swing on, on camera, you're trying to feel as if your right uh, foot is pushing the pressure towards the heel. That pushes the right hip back and around, the feeling as if it's going towards your left heel, okay? And the butt of the club, if you had a plumb line coming down, the butt of the club would dissect your right ankle because now you will start to feel as if you pull the handle towards the ball and the shaft will shallow on its own accord. Whereas when you lack depth, you have more of a downwards pull on the handle, that gets the shaft to go steep, couple that with lots of rotation left, that throws the club outside and brings the club path too far to the left.
So that feeling will really help you get the idea of how to create depth on the way back and to balance your circle. Remember, every golf swing is just a circle. If yours is too biased in one direction and you're trying to, to fix a symptom rather than the cause, you will really, really struggle. The point of working on the backswing to gain rotation on the way through is that the rotation on the way through then becomes necessary to hit a good shot. Whereas like the swing I was kind of imitating earlier, rotation on the way through causes more bad outcomes, so you're less inclined to do it, you're more inclined to react in another way. So weirdly, you're kind of working on the, on the cause for it as opposed to working directly on the thing you don't like. So that's all from me today. I hope that made sense. I hope it helps you and your game. And if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch either on YouTube or on my Instagram, Lewis Sparrow Golf. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. There'll be another one coming out very, very soon. So again, subscribe to the channel, do all the good stuff. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks guys, take care.